sound waves are caused by the vibrations of particles and those vibrations move through a substance as each particle bumps into a neighbor and passes on its energy so sound waves need what's called a medium a medium it's a strange physics term which means a substance a material to travel through sound waves can travel through gases such as as in air but they can also travel through liquids and solids in fact they do that much faster than through gases because the particles in solids and liquids are much closer together the vibrations can pass to the next atom or, or molecule much faster so they cannot travel through a vacuum and a vacuum is a lack of material or substance so if you go to space and you saw I don't know a moon crash into a planet and if you're hopefully standing at a certain uh, quite a long way away to see this um, you wouldn't actually hear anything it would be a very strange kind of uh, situation not like these science fiction films where you have these great big <laughs> explosions and so on it would be silent because there's no gas there's no air or molecules or substance for the sound waves to travel through so you need to be able to describe a simple experiment to determine the speed of sound in air how fast do sound waves travel in air I've got a little hint here I've got a wall and some claps going on so let's let's detail a, a little experiment to show how to measure the speed of sound so what we would do is use a stopwatch and it's important to explain them the equipment you use you would use use a stopwatch to measure the time the time taken between you clapping your hands and the echo that's the reflection returning to you so if you were to stand let's say you stood a hundred meters away from a wall of a building let's say and you clap now the sound waves would travel towards the wall reflect and come back again so how far have the sound waves traveled when you stop your stop clock well the distance the distance traveled would be 200 meters because it's there and back again and that's the thing to watch out for in these questions it's the distance there and back again the time would be as measured on your stop clock and we could work out the speed or average speed equation is distance divided by time we've got distance we've got time we're going to get speed in meters per second equals that's what we're looking for in meters per second and we could then plug it into this equation and we could find the speed now you might want to do this several times and take an average take an average of let's say three or four attempts three or four uh, trials and the reason we do that is to reduce the random error that's associated due to our uh, reaction times because it's quite a it happened quite quickly this so there will be an error involved and we can reduce that by taking an average so that's a simple experiment to measure the speed of sound speed of sound in air